All right, I'm here in Zion National Park. This show, we're gonna take you on a little, what I call, hiking sampler platter. We'll give you a taste of natural bridges in Capitol Reef National Park, then a hike to a sandy arch in Arches National Park, and we'll finish up with this hike in Zion National Park called Weeping Rock. These are all short hikes, family friendly, easy to do on a day when you don't feel like conquering a trail. So we'll start off with Arches National Park. Travelogue, October 15th. The weather's perfect here in Arches National Park. It's fall, so it's nice and cool. Blue skies make for perfect shooting conditions. I personally like to avoid overcrowding some of the more popular places in our national parks. So we decided on a short secluded hike to Sandy Arch. It's a perfect half mile hike for my three little sidekicks. The trail wound through slots and sand. What it is about sand that kids just love, I'll never figure out. This sandbox is just as good as the beach for our landlocked Utah kids. It took some searching around until we found the arch tucked away in a corner. But the wind started kicking up sand, so we're soon off to the next stop. The next hike on our trip was to Hickman Bridge in Capitol Reef National Park. I love Capitol Reef because it's rarely crowded and the various rock formations seem to change from every perspective. I always find something new through the lens. The fall temps were nice and cool for this 1.5 mile round trip hike that starts along the Fremont River. The hills proved too much for the little guys, so only Scout and I continued. We found an alcove just off the main trail that was really unique and a little spooky to a four-year-old who's afraid of bats. The rock in this area is just beautiful. Feel it, Dad. I love how it kickstarts the imagination of kids. What does it feel like? Uh, cold and hard. The natural bridge at the end of the rocky trail was well worth the extra effort on the ascent. The trail gained quite a bit of elevation going up and made for hungry hikers, so we were soon off to lunch and the next stop. Our final stop on this hiking trip was Zion National Park. Zion National Park has many hikes ranging from salt canyons to scrambling up cliffs, but this time we decided to hike the Weeping Rock. Along the way we came across some wild turkeys who apparently had no clue Thanksgiving was just around the corner. The trickles of water seeping out of Weeping Rock is actually snow melt or rain that fell high above on the Colorado Plateau and filtered down until finding a way out here. It's a perfect place to watch the sunset. Well, that's Weeping Rock here in Zion National Park. It's just gorgeous this time of year with the fall colors and this water coming down. It doesn't get much better than this. I'm going to upload my photos if you'd like to check them out and feel free to upload your own photos or any travel and tourism related comments about Zion, Capitol Reef, Arches, or anywhere else in the state. For now, I'll leave you with some of my favorite shots from this hiking sampler platter shoot. Check them out. <laughs>